Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. A nice, easy pace of warm up over. Better buckle those chin straps. SEC action about to start. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. The Tigers have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you get a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. From their own 29-yard line, second down. And they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. Taylor is back awaiting the punt. Taylor fields it at the 30. Tackle at the 44. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. This quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things because that's when mistakes happen. Second and 10, ball on the 44. there to knock it away. It's a great job here by the defensive coordinator with his play call. A lot of times you start to maybe think about blitzing linebackers. This time he keeps the linebackers back in position to be able to knock the football away and not give this offense a chance to pick up a first down. There's a strike complete. He's down. Nice game, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Fumble, loose ball, recovered by the offense. He's finally tackled at the 28 yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed.
He'll give it off here. Gets out to about the 31. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on their own 31. They try running left. Runs outside for a nice game. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll make it third and one. got room to run he's tackled at the 46 very well designed play that time to give him a first down the linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game from the 46 yard line it's first down at the 31. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. Two times, two times. Inside the 10. First and goal coming up. He's knocked out after a big game. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. His tight end touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Get you up to date on the action in Denton. And for North Texas, they've won two straight. North Texas wins it 38-21. All right, thanks, Reese. LSU Buckley has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line. And he's taken down at the 33-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's going to try and scramble. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's at midfield, and he's taken down at the 48-yard line. The Tigers have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. Tackle made at the 48. That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. We've got a second and 14. Ball on their own 48. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. The defense has it. Good hustle there by the D lineman. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy has a motor that's running. He never quit, and he played to the whistle. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. LSU is up seven. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Irby picks up a yard on the play. It's 
second and nine. Ball on the 47-yard line. After a decent run up the gut. That's a game five on the way. Third down. Man left, man left. Brought down at the 36. So at the end of one, LSU leads it 7-0. To the action now here in the second quarter. Four down, four down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Here's an opening. Gains his way to the 23 yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. First and 10. Ball on the 23 yard line. On play action. And he's going to come up with a sack. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. LSU up seven points. They get to the quarterback, and now the ball is loose. And they fall on the loose ball. They're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. Half back screen, incomplete. Browning is waiting for the snap. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. They coughed up the pigskin the last time they had the ball. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Runs with it, and he's got room. Decides to slide. He's to the 40, and he's tackled at the 40. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. These receivers need to be ready because he's capable of really launching some passes. That one was just out of reach from their own 40-yard line. Second down. They come out in a five-wide set. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. Scrambling around. He gets sacked on the play. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. He's on the 
the run. And down he goes at the 37-yard line. got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 37-yard line, second down. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. No game on the play. That brings us third and ten. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he tackles him hard at the 11-yard line. Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. That's a great tackle at the 12. Didn't he, Kirk? Uh, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. LSU is up a score. Makes it to the 12-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. Two minutes to go in the half. LSU is going to use their first time out of the half here. Gets out to around the 25. That's a team of 13 on the play. First down. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 27. Gets rid of this one. Offense lines up in a five wide set. The defense anticipating pass here. Throws complete. He's got room to work. There's a very impressive open field tackle. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Let's go, Quick throw to the tight end. Knocked out of bounds at the 41. Gain of 20 yards. First down. One minute left in the first half. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. LSU eight. is Mike up by a touchdown. Here we go. Ah. Throws it in a hurry. And he is drilled at the 17-yard line. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice gain for the offense. Okay. This is the eighth play of this drive. After decent pickup. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. And once again, they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. The Tigers wide receiver down there on the sideline. Looks like he's warming up. Good to see that he might be able to get back in this game. And they make the stop at the six-yard line. 
Washington takes the tackle at the six yard line. Stay, stay, stay. That stay makes right. it first and goal. Right. Right. They'll spread the field with five stay. wide. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. It's the PAT. So an 11 play, 88 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So our score, 14 nothing. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he makes it out to about the 27 yard line. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue collar, workman like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ball game. The last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into this. And he has a huge game. And I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. He lets it fly. Incomplete. Well, that is great coverage by this defense. They did everything that they could to force that wide receiver into a very small window close to the boundary. The quarterback makes the throw to give his receiver a chance to make a play. The problem is there's no room left for the receiver to get his foot down for the catch. And they get the sack. Wow, I absolutely love this call. It's a bit of a risk here, bringing a corner, but he got all the way in and got to the quarterback. A lot of times, the defensive coordinator will call a blitz from the corner, hoping to just maybe apply pressure, but this time, he got all the way in to be able to bring the quarterback down. That's a big-time play. He's going to air it long. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. Fourth down. Mitchell is back awaiting the punt. He makes it to the 42-yard line. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Tigers lead it by two touchdowns. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Here's Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The lead is solid. You're always happy, I think, when you go to the locker room up two possessions. But it appeared to me that maybe there was a, a little area in which doubt could creep in in the second half. Well, you always want to take a lead and start to build on it. And this is, you know, I think you could look at this first half and go, okay, I'm up. I feel good. But they're still hanging around. And you know what happens when you let teams hang around. And I know you got a two-score lead, but they're only a couple ways from making a difference. And you get the feeling that they got a little bit of confidence going, too. They're not scared anymore. They think that they can compete with this ball club. And the second half, execution is going to be critical. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. Be loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I try to. Are they stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. 
Tackle made at the 25. LSU is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. They come out on an empty backfield. And that one's incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Heading for the corner. Tackle at the 26. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he hits him hard at the 19. Also seven yards on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Fourth and long here after the sack. Mitchell, the return man. Mitchell takes it at the 49. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's taken down around the 29-yard line. First down. From the 29-yard line, first down. Three down, three down. Hey, I got number 80. I got number 80. Let's go. Run, 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 run. And they'll get him in the backfield. tight end. He's tackled around the 27-yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. Here we go. Passes left, going the other way. There. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. First and 10, ball on the 19. Throws it and it's tipped away. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Ten yards to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down around the 41-yard line. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's going to try and scramble. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Dives forward. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. He 
He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Slides down. is number eight on the drive. He scrambles. Brought down at the 22-yard line. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Tackle made at about the 29-yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And they finally tackle him at the 43. First down. He's under pressure. And he's tackled at the 20. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20. Bring him down at about the 15 yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Too little, Cup Cut. My game, my game. Set, green and eight. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. Third and five situation. Ball on the 15. Mike eight. Mike eight. Here we go. Green and eight. Green. Motion, motion, motion. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. That's three down and one to go. The Tigers lead it by two touchdowns. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He gets it up, and it is good. LSU is lining up to kick this one off.
He's taken down at the 22. The Tigers have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. There's a strike complete. He's down. That makes it second and six. Short pass, middle of the field, and down he goes around the 30-yard line. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. And they make the stop at the 45. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Pressure coming. He's at the 40. He dies, and he'll be marked down. Watch out here. He's at the 20. Tackle at the 20-yard line. They're back in the red zone after fumbling on their last visit. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Second and 15. Ball on the 25. Now he tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. Lost a four on the play. That'll bring a third and long. Here's the eighth play of the series. Just under three to go in regulation. He steps up, throws it to the outside. Completes another one. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. He's scrambling. They bring him down. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Tenth play of the drive. Larry, Larry. Speed it up. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. 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 Open receiver drops. Plain and simple. If he doesn't come in with a hard hit to knock the ball free, that's a touchdown. It's third and goal from the 10. They'll probably look to the air here. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. When the first down marker is that far away, 
someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Just under two minutes in the game. Here we go. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Yard line. That's good for a gain of 17 yards. That makes it first and 10. From their own 31 yard line, it's first down. Here's the give. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 48. First down. Final score, 17 to nothing, LSU. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.